The region shaded in the diagram below is bounded by the x-axis and the part of the curve with equation x squared plus y squared equals 9 lying above the x-axis. <coughs> the points of intersection of the curve with the coordinate axes are denoted by a, b and c. Write down the coordinates of a, b and c. By carrying out an appropriate integration, find the volume generated when the region shaded in the diagram is rotated through four right angles about the x-axis. <coughs> Give a geometrical interpretation of your answer. <coughs> so let's have a look at this then. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so it shouldn't be too difficult. This is just simply a circle here, or a half circle. Uh, and here's coordinates A, B and C. So write down these coordinates then. So part one then, um, for part A here, uh, X equals naught then. When we put naught in here, we get Y squared equals nine, which implies if we square root Y equals plus or minus, uh, the square root of nine is three. And Y equals naught, so when we put y equals naught in here, we get x squared equals 9. So that tells us that x is equal to plus or minus 3. So we can see what the coordinates are then. So a will have coordinates. The circle is of radius 3, so this is minus 3, uh, 0. b will have coordinates uh, 3 and 0, won't it? And c has coordinates naught on the x and 3 on the y. You could write this down directly simply by observing that this is the radius squared. So the radius is 3 units. So you could observe that directly, couldn't you, and just write down these three coordinates very, very quickly. So find the volume when this is rotated 360 degrees about OX. So here's our circle. Now I'm going to try and draw a little disk here when we rotate it for 90 degrees, 360 degrees in other words. So we get these slices of cylindrical value. They're of thickness uh, delta x, aren't they? <coughs> the radius is y. So the volume, the delta v volume then of this little shape, small volume is equal to uh, the area here, pi r squared, it's a cylinder of uh, area pi r squared, so the radius is y, so that's pi y squared, times the thickness is delta x. So there's our volume. We want to sum this volume between this x value at 3 and this x value at minus 3. So the volume then, this is part B. So volume uh, is equal to the integral between x is minus 3 and 3 of pi y squared dx, wasn't it? Remember? Pi y squared dx is the actual volume. So we've got the integral between minus 3 and 3 of pi. Put that at the front there. Y squared, x squared plus y squared is 9. So this is just 9 minus x squared dx. Okay, because we can just put it in there. Because y squared is 9 minus x squared. So this is a simple integral. We've got equal to pi. And then we've got 9x minus x cubed over 3 between 3 and minus 3. Put in the values then, top value, 9 3 is a 27. Minus 27 over 3 is 9, that's the top value. Minus the bottom value, put minus 3 in here, minus 27. Take away minus 3 cubed here, take away is that minus there, but minus 3 cubed is 3 minuses, so that's 4 minuses. 27 over 3 is 9. Close bracket, close brace. Very easy to make a mistake there. So we end up with pi then. 18 minus, and this is minus 18, isn't it, here, with the minuses plus 18. So we equals 36 pi units cubed, and that's the volume. So that's the volume when it's rotated 360, or 4 lots of 90 degrees around the OX axis. Give a geometrical interpretation. Well, that was a half disk, wasn't a half circle. So if we rotate that around the OX axis, we're simply going to generate a sphere of radius 3, center 0. So this is a sphere, part 2 then. Uh, this 
is a sphere, a solid pool, center at naught naught and of radius uh, three units.